I want to teach you how to crochet this beautiful shawl. It's very easy to do, perfect for Mother's Day gift. I hope you guys like it and give it a try and here is the list of material you're going to need to make. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber, that way you get notification when my videos get published on To make this shawl, I'm going to use Lion Brand Yarn Shawl in a ball. One ball make a shawl, you say here, but the design of the picture is a very simple design and I don't know if for this one uh, with only one will be enough because I'm going to do fringes so let's see uh, anyway I, I will leave here a note saying the amount of yarn that I use probably I need a little bit more than one but I don't know yet so it's 61% cotton, 34% acrylic and 5% other fibers it's medium 4 the color is Namaste Neutrals or 303 and I have 150 grams. The crochet hook is 4.5 millimeter. You're going to need tapestry needle to lose the tails and scissors. We're going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to do 112 chain plus 4. So that will give me 5 motifs for uh, the design. If you want to do this one with four, so you cast on, um, you do 90 chain plus four. If you want to do uh, this wider, bigger, and then you add 22 chain for each motif. So the first motif, uh, the show will have uh, 24 stitches or uh, 24 chains and then after those 24 the rest of the motifs will be uh, 22 chains so you will see 112 is what I'm going to do for mine plus 4 so I will meet you here when I have my 112 I have 112 now I'm going to do 4 and I'm going to leave that last one in here so one two, three, and four, yarn over twice because we're going to be doing treble crochet. You're going to slide your thumb to the next stitch and in the number six from the hook you're going to do a treble crochet. Now you're going to chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, yarn over twice. Now you're gonna count ten chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you're gonna do a treble crochet the number ten. And this will be the more difficult part to do because you have to go count until ten to find uh, the chain. So other than that, everything will be very easy after you do this first row. One, two, three, four, and five chain. Yarn over twice and you go to the next chain beside that one where you did the treble crochet and you're gonna do another treble crochet. Be like this. Again you're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, yarn over twice. Again, you're gonna count ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you're gonna do a treble crochet. Chain five. No, sorry. <laughs> and do another treble crochet and the chain beside that one. I'm sorry about that. So I was doing the next motif already. So this is my first motif in here. So this one is the one that have 24 chains. After the next one will be 22 because you see you don't have to do the two first one because already are done in here from the end of the motif. Is the two in here. So what we're gonna do now is again this in the center. That's why it's 24 for the first one and then 22 for the rest. 
So again, we're going to do this repetition in here. So you're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yarn over twice. You're going to count ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. And you're going to do. Uh, let me count again. I lost it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're going to do a triple crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over twice. And the chain beside that one, you're going to do another treble crochet. You see? You're just working the center of the next motif already. You're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yarn over twice, and we're going to do again the treble in here. You're going to count ten, and you're going to do your two treble, one beside each other. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you're going to do your treble in here. And then again. Then over twice the treble next to this one. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time. You're gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yarn over twice, you're going to count 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And you're going to do a treble crochet, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, yarn over twice, and the next chain space, you're going to do another treble crochet. And now you're going to chain 8, and again do the two treble crochet, and the 10 and 11 chain. So you're going to chain 8, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then now you're going to count 10 chains in the base and do a treble crochet and then the next one another treble crochet and then you're going to do a chain 8 and repeat this and two more time until you have 5 of these like a V with a five chain on the top and you're gonna finish here with two treble crochet one beside each other so when I get to the end of this row I will show you how you're gonna continue with the second row I finished my first row and I have five of this space so now you're gonna chain four to turn your work around one two three and four turn your work around and you're gonna do another treble crochet on top of this treble crochet these ones always stay the same. The only change is going to be in the chain of seven A space. We're going to do seven now and inside here. So you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yarn over twice. And inside the space of five chain, you're going to do eight treble crochet. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
yarn over twice and you're gonna go on top of these two treble crochet and you're gonna do two treble crochet one in the first one and then yarn over twice and you do another treble crochet in the next one and that is what we're gonna do in this second row let me move this more to the center like that So you're going to do exactly the same in the next one. You're going to chain seven, eight of, uh, treble crochet in the center, chain seven, and two treble crochet. I'm going to show you one more time. You're going to chain seven, un, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yarn over twice, and in the space of five chain, you're going to do eight treble crochet. So this is one. Yarn over twice, two, and number three, number four. It's really easy. Five, six, seven, and eight. So now again you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yarn over twice and then you're going to do one treble crochet on top of each these two treble crochet. And like that you're going to continue with this motif all the way to the end. So if you don't have this type of yarn and you have 100% uh, cotton and it's like a medium three, you can use it as well. Bring this one to the center and like that you want to continue all the way to the end I finished row number two and the last treble crochet I didn't top at the fourth chain so you're going to chain four more one two three and four and then that number four is where you do your last treble crochet in the next row so you're going to do another treble crochet and the next treble crochet you see these ones always stay the same now you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, yarn over twice, and you're going to go to the first treble crochet, and you're going to do a treble crochet. Now you're going to chain one, yarn over twice, and you're going to do another treble crochet in the next treble crochet. And that's the repetition that you're going to do on top of these eight treble crochet. Chain one, another treble crochet. Chain one, another treble, chain one, another treble, chain one, ah, I forget to get yarn over twice. Chain one. A treble, chain one, the last treble. Now you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, yarn over twice, and you're going to do your two treble crochet and here. So that's one and two. So it will look like this. And that's the repetition that you're going to do in this third row all the way to the end. So you're going to chain four and again in this eight treble crochet, you're going to do eight treble crochet, but you're going to have a chain one space in between each one of them. Again, you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over twice, go to the first treble and do crochet chain one another treble crochet in the next row chain one 
So don't forget to do the chain one space in here. You always have to have a chain one space in between each stitch. It's very easy and fast. So in no time you will have these done. They have beautiful colors in Michaels at this jar. So I'm gonna do the last one. And again I'm gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over twice, and then you're gonna do your two treble crochet. And like that you're gonna continue all the way at the all the way to the end of this row number three. And start to look like this. I finished the third row. Now we're gonna work on the fourth, and then after you finish the fourth, we we'll start all over again with row one. So you're gonna do one, two, three, and four. Turn your work around and then over twice and do the treble. Now you're going to chain two, then over twice, and you're going to do a treble on top of the treble. And now you're going to do a treble and the chain one space. You can do it inside the chain or you can do it wrapping the chain. You see this one I did inside the chain. That's what I'm gonna do for mine. The next strip. Or you can do it like this. You can do it wrapping around the chain like this. Either way is fine, but I like it to secure it inside the chain space. That way it does don't move around. This is a little more work. But Trying to open that chain. <laughs> but that's the way I like it. So I'm going to go again twice. This time you don't are doing any chain space in between, yes. Treble. On each stitch. And now we want to work on the last one. And again, you're going to chain two. And then over twice. And the two treble crochet. And now that is row number four. So I'll show you. And that's the repetition you're going to do on each space. Again, you're going to chain two. Then over twice. And you're going to do a treble on top of the first one. And a treble on the chain space. And one on the next one. 
and you'll have here you see you start with a chain of five and then in the next one you have eight and the next one you have eight but you have a chain of space in between and in this one you'll have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen treble crochet okay Sometimes it's not as easy to <laughs> to work in the chain space, but Nice and quiet here. Till you hear William and my daughter playing. It's very windy outside as well. So you're gonna finish here, and you're gonna chain two, and do your two treble crochet, and here, and then you're gonna continue with this repetition all the way to the end. And the next row we're gonna start with a repetition of row number one. That was very easy. I have to look like this. It looks amazing this year. I finished row number four, and that's the repetition that we're gonna do in the entire piece, those four row. So we're gonna start with the repetition of row number one. You're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four. Turn your work around. Turn over twice, another treble, and the next one, double the next treble crochet, and then now you're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Turn over twice, you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in between seven and eight, and here you're going to do your treble you're going to chain five one two three four five yarn over twice and in here you're going to do the next one chain eight one two three four five six seven and eight yarn over twice and you're going to do one treble crochet on top of each treble crochet and that's the repetition that you're going to do in this row. And it will look like this. Okay, you're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Yarn over twice. Again, you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Triple crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Yarn over twice, and the next, and triple crochet. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. And over twice and to treble. And like this, you're going to continue all the way to the end of this row. Something that I wanted to mention is you find that in the second row, the chain seven is too loose. You can chain six if you like. Okay? It's up to you. Uh, if you want to do that, way, that is a little loose in here, you can do six instead of seven. Uh, so you're going to continue all the way to the end of this row. And then when we come back, we're going to start doing this space it's in here. So it's really easy. Any beginner can do this piece and look really nice. When you finish, it will look like this. So I'm going to continue working off camera. And uh, you're going to do in the next row is in the space of the five chain, you're going to do a treble crochet. And then here, like I mentioned, if you would like, you can do six and instead of seven because... Or for me, the problem was that I did some of the chain, you see, more loose than other ones. This one is fine here, but this one is a little more loose. So you're going to continue with this repetition of this four row until you have the desired length. So if you have any, um, you know, problem, continue with the pattern, just come back. Uh, the video and continue doing from row you see I already show you row one so you continue doing from row two to four and all over again in those four row so I'm gonna do just a little bit more off camera a few more row that way you see the design and I will show you here and if you want I may explain one more set of motifs again after I've done a few of the motifs so far I've done three motifs and look how nice this look. So I wanted to show you that way you can see the pattern as you work because it's not the same to see it in just one, uh, one of the pattern to see it in multiple. So now I will show you one more time in this motif in here what you're going to do with the next three rows just in case you don't got it the first time. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do in here. I did the first one here for the Spanish recording, so now I'll show uh, English uh, recording. So we want to work in the inside here, that will be the repetition of row number two that I show you in here. So you're going to chain seven. I am still chaining seven, but if you prefer to do six, you can do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. What I'm trying is not to do the chain too loose. Yarn over twice, and you're gonna do a treble crochet in the chain five space. So that's one. Two. Three. And eight again, seven chains one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yarn over twice, and the two treble crochet in here. the repetition of row number two. Now we're going to do the repetition of row three. You're going to chain four. Yarn over twice, a treble crochet. And you only start each row with the two treble. And finish with the two treble. Now one chain in between each treble. I 
I love this yarn. They have different colors. I may buy uh, some more to do another shawl with a different design and different color. They're beautiful. And they have this, like this one with the um, shiny thread. And they have the same color but without the, the shiny thread. So if you don't like the shiny materials, you can buy one that don't have that. And the last strip. Chain four, one, two, three, four, turn over twice, and to treble. And like that you're gonna continue the repetition of row three. And you're gonna chain two after you do the two the chain of four and the double cro uh, treble crochet you're gonna do a treble crochet on each space so you're gonna chain two a treble crochet and top of the first treble crochet and now you're gonna do a treble crochet in the chain space in here so that's what we're gonna do for the repetition of four a treble in top of each treble and a treble in the chain space so that's very easy I like to do this inside the chain so I have to open the chain there we go So are easier than others. Chain space. So you're gonna end up with 15 treble crochet on top of the motifs. So you finish this row, you're going to start again with the repetition of row 1. So, it's very easy. And we're going to do the last treble and then you're going to chain two one and two and you're going to do two treble crochet and then you're going to continue in this row the next row like i mentioned is the repetition of row one so when i finish this row i will show you how you're going to do again row one and then from that you continue until you have the desired length once you finish uh, the repetition of row 4, you're going to start all over again with the repetition of row 1. So you're going to chain 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, turn your work around. Do a treble crochet and top of the treble crochet, and then you're going to chain 8, and do a treble crochet, and the 7 treble crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven and eight 
Yellow over twice, and you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that side between seven and eight. You're gonna do a treble crochet, and then you're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, yarn over twice, and you're gonna do another treble crochet in the next space, and then you're gonna chain eight, one, two, three, four, five six seven and eight yarn over twice and you're going to do two treble crochet and top of these two treble crochet and that's the repetition that you're going to do in this row and then you're going to continue with the row uh two three and four and again all over again to row number one so that's what we're going to do until we have our desired length so i'm going to work off camera and then when i have the length that i want for mine i will let you know how many uh, motifs I will give to mine and I will give you the measurement as well okay so see you here when I have my length. so far and done 11 motif for the length I'm working on number 12 and this is the amount of yarn that I have left from my full first ball of yarn so uh, I'm glad I bought two and I bought them the same lot number that way we uh, I have the same shapes uh, sometimes when you buy them, even if they same color and different lot number, they, the color variate, you know, uh, they're not exactly the same. So that means that they dye these two balls of yarn at the same time, it's from the same uh, batch. So I want to start working with my second ball and uh, I hope so it's so enough. What I wanted to show you is that when I pull the yarn from the center, it's a light color. So what I did is I pull um until i have almost matching the same color as the one i'm working right now and then i will continue working with this ball and hopefully this here is i have 19 motif of these four row repetition and a measure uh the width is 71 centimeter or 28 inches and the length is one meter 78 or 70 inches so a meter 78 for the length or uh, 70 inches or 71 centimeter or 28 inches for the width so i asked my daughter i always like to ask uh, my family opinion uh, of my pieces so if i do fringes and she said no they don't need it they look fine like that she like like that better and I decided not to do fringes, but if you want to do fringes, I want to show you how you're going to finish in here. That way you have your piece. Let me see what's the beginning. Oh. Like this. That way you can place your fringes in the chain space in here and in the chain thin space. So what you're going to do in here, once you finish your last motif, you're gonna chain four, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over twice, and you're gonna come here, and you're gonna do a treble crochet on top of the treble crochet. And then now you're gonna chain ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. You're gonna do yarn over twice. And in here you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and number 5, you're going to do a treble crochet. You're going to get number 2 eyes, and you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You're going to do your other treble crochet. Now you're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then yarn over twice and you're gonna do a treble on top of each treble crochet and that's the uh, last row that you're gonna do with a repetition and then you'll cut the yarn lose the tail and do your fringes in here so I left the, the end like this since I don't gonna do fringes because it's long enough uh, that don't need it for me and I have this leftover is 61 gram from the second ball of yarn. So I, if I had uh, decided to put fringes, 
I will have enough, you see, from two bowls. So I have this left over. And I love, love this uh, stitch design that I decided that I'm going to make a summer cardigan. I don't know yet if I'm going to do it with a sleeve or a sleeveless. That I, I went and bought some more of this yarn for it. Not this color, different color, but two type. How about this one? And this one. They are gorgeous. And like I mentioned before, they have them without the shiny strand of yarn, but I like them more with this, the uh, shiny strand because the other one look a little more dull, the color. And these are a little bit of an expensive size, uh, this yarn. They are uh, here in Canada, $11.99, well, $12 plus tax. And I went with coupons, 55% uh, the discount. So I went with my husband. He bought one, I bought the other one. And the next day I went, he bought one and I bought the other one. So I will I pay, pay for two, twelve twenty. That was with tax. So I love the, the coupons from Michaels because uh, you can save a lot. So now I'm gonna put it on the car the okay, we're gonna set the card again, the shawl and I'll show you the end result. Well this is the end result and it looks fantastic. I love it. Hope you guys like it and give it a try and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and if you make this piece and you want to send me some pictures you can do it through my facebook page with statement or you can find me in my instagram ruby statement please share my video with friends and family that way you help me grow here